I'm Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of drink video and I'll show you how to make the best cup of Horlicks at home. So remember when I was little, I was crazy for this stuff. I'd uh, wait for my mother to go to sleep uh, in the afternoon and then I'd go to the kitchen and steal a cup full or a spoonful of Horlicks uh, which was dry and then just put it in my mouth and run away. And those days, uh, everyone used to, uh, you know, enjoy Horlicks a lot. And still, this is a very popular uh, drink across the globe. So today, I'll show you how to make a perfect cup of Horlicks at home using very simple ingredients. If this is your first time I repeat visit here, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you appreciate variety, please go ahead and subscribe and also like the video because uh, that will make, uh, you know, more people uh, discover the video and uh, they'll be able to make the best cup of Horlicks at home. So let's start. Hello everyone. So here we have all the ingredients you need and the most important two ingredients uh, to making a perfect cup of Horlicks is that uh, the Horlicks itself and the milk. Now I do have some other uh, type of liquids or milk. So for example, you can use the regular milk which I have here 3.8% uh, organic milk and then also you can use uh, the soy milk which I have it right here and these two are my recommendations uh, if you don't have organic uh, you know 3.4% milk other type of milk should be okay as well and also you know you can replace that with the soy milk uh, which I have here is soy organic milk now if you do not have milk then still you can you know make a cup of coffee with the uh, evaporated milk or condensed milk and coffee creamer but these are not recommended uh, the my most uh, you know the most important or the best recommendation for uh, making a cup of uh, Horlicks would be uh, just regular milk which if you have uh, 4% or 3.8% organic and then regular uh, or organic soy milk that would be the best uh, ingredient to make uh, Horlicks now you can see that I have here two different types of Horlicks so one is the regular one and one is the chocolate Horlicks when I was little and uh, we didn't have the chocolate uh, I I have known uh, you know with this Horlicks this type of regular Horlicks and I remember uh, the jar was not plastic it was a glass uh, jar but now it looks like uh, you know it is made of plastic but there might be you know glass jar or glass bottle as well and uh, uh, chocolate Horlicks I never tried it before so definitely I'm going to try and see how it tastes like so I have uh, two separate cups right here and one I'm going to use for regular Horlicks and one I'm going to use for uh, chocolate Horlicks and you require an electric kettle or a pot to boil water the reason is that you know you need to uh, make this warm also you can microwave it uh, although you can do Horlicks with 100% like you know milk or soy milk uh, my recommendation would be just to do 25% uh, water and 75% milk. I think that brings the most uh, taste and flavor because if you are putting 100% milk, that would kind of uh, would be like you know too uh, milky or too creamy, and it would uh, uh, it the taste of Horlicks wouldn't be that obvious. But I think if you do 20% water, 75% milk, that would uh, be the most uh, you know tasty uh, Horlicks but definitely you can go ahead and uh, do your own uh, experiment uh, so these are just like you know recommendations uh, when it comes to making Horlicks uh, there's nothing actually right or wrong making a cup of tea or cup of coffee you cannot go wrong if you have like you know more or less Horlicks more or less milk or water still it's okay you can still drink it it's not like you know you're making a cup of coffee that it's gonna be ruined but today I'll try with 25% uh, water 75% uh, milk and these cups are about six to seven ounce of water and I'm going to uh, try with the two uh, tablespoon of uh, Horlicks which I have it uh, right here so you can see that this is two tablespoon and then I do have uh, sugar in case like you know if not it's sweet enough you, you can put like you know one uh, or two cubes of sugar and these are like you know four grams each so you can uh, also add sugar but if you don't like sugar uh, you can replace with honey and you don't have to even put sugar or honey because it has some added sugar so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to boil uh, two separate uh, cups of water and in the electric kettle and I'm going to just like you know take approximately 
25 percent water in each of them so let's get some water and when you get water just make sure that you know you get very uh, cold water to boil that will bring uh, or bring up the most uh, taste and flavor so i'm just going to turn on the faucet and let the water dry uh, cold around cold for a little bit uh, i'll just wait about 10 more seconds looks like it's getting very cold and just wait a couple of more seconds so right now i have kind of ice cold water right here so i'm just going to take one cup which should be uh, good enough for 25% uh, water for both of these two so I'm just going to uh, put it in the electric kettle and I'm going to turn this on and this is um, boiling right now and in the meanwhile let's just prepare the rest of the items so we're going to use um, the teaspoon and in one cup I'm taking uh, two teaspoon of uh, regular Horlicks and in the other cup I'll take two spoon of uh, chocolate Horlicks so let's start with the regular one so this is how it looks like uh, okay I think camera is having a little bit problem adjusting it but you know this is how it looks like so we'll just you know take about one here and another one here and again when you make Horlicks there's nothing right or wrong you have to just like you know do experiments to find your own uh, proportions for everything and then we'll just take um, chocolate Horlicks and if you open the bottle it looks like chocolate powder and this is what it looks like so we're just going to take one again one here and another teaspoon right here so now we have both teaspoons and also I'm going to start with the um, cold milk uh, I have the water hot but you know if you even need like you know hotter Horlicks then you can definitely microwave it and uh, you can uh, make it hotter or you can just boil the uh, milk first to make it uh, hot but for me I'm okay with uh, taking hot in here so what I'm going to do I'm going to just take uh, organic uh, regular milk 3.4% uh, for the regular Horlicks let's take it here and I'm going to take like 75% so the total cup size is 6 to 7 ounce so here we have so I took this much and if I put 25% water then it should be good enough for uh, the to fill up the cup so I'm just going to set this aside here and then I'm just going to actually try the soy milk for the chocolate version so let's open the soy milk which is right here this is organic uh, soy milk uh, right here and same here I'll just take uh, So I took this much and the uh, 25% I'll fill in uh, with water so let's, let me just set this aside here and I'm going to put it in here okay so it looks like my water is ready so what I'll do I'll just uh, put 25% uh, water in the first cup for regular Horlicks uh, so put it in here and you can see that you know this is kind of coming to the close end and then I'm going to put another 25% water in here to fill up the cup or almost fill up the cup so I'm just going to leave it here and then I'm just going to you know uh, stir these two and see how it comes out okay you can see that you know although I didn't fill up the cup looks like the cup is uh, filling up uh, this is because of the Horlicks which were kind of on the bottom I didn't add sugar yet so this is the reason uh, Horlicks is not melting 100% because uh, I didn't warm up the Horlicks or I'm sorry I didn't warm up the milk but uh, it, this is okay for now I just want to see how it comes out I have the option to warm it up later okay so I'm going to do the same with the milk version 
or with the regular Horlicks version. Okay, so it looks like I have uh, here the chocolate Horlicks right here and I have the milk Horlicks right here and I'm going to test uh, both of these two and see you know how they came out. So just give me a second here. So that was the milk one. Let me just test the chocolate one. They test perfect. Uh, except that you know it looks like you can add another uh, like uh, sugar so I'm just going to add one cube of sugar in the regular Horlicks and then I'm going to just add one cube of sugar in the chocolate Horlicks and uh, the way it came out six seven ounce of total liquid uh, and I took two spoon of uh, Horlicks or two tablespoon it's not very heavy or thick Horlicks it's kind of like you know balanced but if you want thicker then you can add another spoon for each but the way they taste now it is okay for me but if you like you know more Horlicks like in taste then definitely you can add more and if you like less Horlicks taste then definitely you can add less but the way they are it just you know uh, works for me and they just uh, taste fine and I'll just like you know melt the water uh, liquid a little bit more and let me just you know see how the taste come out after adding the sugar so right now I can feel more Horlicksy taste mm. and it's like you know I'm going back to my childhood when we used to drink Horlicks every day and uh, I still also steal Horlicks uh, when everyone went to sleep and put them in my mouth uh, and run away so this is how you make a perfect cup of Horlicks so I'm just going to summarize everything very quickly so you need Horlicks this is the most important ingredient and if you want like you know you have the option to put 100% milk or other type of milk which is soy milk over here or if you want you can do 25% water with 75% milk uh, that's what I did here and then if you don't have milk you can also go with like you know other types of like you know creamer or milk but I also always recommend going with a regular version of milk that would give you the most taste and flavor and take two spoon of Horlicks uh, but if you want thicker or if you want more like you know uh, Horlicksy taste then definitely add one spoon more and I used a tablespoon so two tablespoons for each and there's the chocolate version of Horlicks and there's the regular version of Horlicks uh, looks like I would prefer actually uh, the regular version the chocolate version feels like a bit chocolatey but some people might like the chocolate version but you know the I'm, I have grown up with the regular version of Horlicks so I am liking the regular version more and you have the option to add uh, sugar if you'd like uh, if you don't want sugar then you don't have to or you can just you know replace sugar with honey so that's how you make the world's best cup of perfect Horlicks Thank you for watching this video if you like the video please go ahead and like the uh, hit the like button also you can subscribe on this channel I'm always trying new and different ideas so if you appreciate variety please go ahead and subscribe there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you